Let's try Buckshot. Regenerator. Every three Dizzy cards played, we get a shield, and then we also get a temporary shield. Piercer. Uh, first attack each turn pierces. Basically, we ignore their shields and ignore their armor. All right, Stun Calibrator. After our first attack, we get a stun... Ch Ooh, okay. It's, it's emo rigs. Eight. Eight. There it is. Alright everyone, welcome back to episode 3. This will hopefully wrap up this run's final act. Hopefully, in a successful finish. Go over the deck real quick, we still have the basic cards here. We have to go pretty heavily towards shields and just movement in general. And we got some fun stuff in with our attacks, including this parry. We hold on to it, and then we can do a big burst of damage based off of how much comes back in at us. But mostly it's shields and evasion with a little bit of chip shots here and there. So we are in the third area. I forgot to hit record before starting this zone, but we are in the first fight right here. Going up against these guys. They've got a lot of shields. Do we have a stun charge? We do have a stun charge. We also have second opinions. Let's use stun charge and then second opinions. This is kind of nice, but we don't have... I guess we have this if we wanted to. We have four energy. So yeah, this could actually do a lot of damage. So we do, like, overpower. And then... This does six. We have one left. Like, we can eat that, too, pretty easily. So it makes more sense to just do some damage. Draw two. There's one. Okay. Because the overdrive stack, we'll have even more for this turn. We're taking some here. Choose a card in our draw pile. What would be helpful here? The multi-shot would be nice. Because we have three. So let's do this. Let's do select a memory and then multi-shot. So it does four. And then we have stun calibrator. So the first one will hit. And then the second one will stun that. So there's that. And four. And then two more. So we can just do like this. And then that as well. We should be in really good shape for next turn, especially with Perry. Yeah, there's six coming in. We can just kind of go whoop. Easy enough. That one was really smooth. Big. Another stun charge. So this card's already upgraded. We could tell because it has B on it. I need two shield capacity. I'm going to take that because it also gives us two temporary shield with shield burst. So that's a lot right away. So where are we heading? There is an elite here and here. So we could do back to back. I think it makes sense to go here. If we're hurting, we can then go here. If we're not, we can do like back to back elites. This gets us an upgrade along the way. I guess that does too, but then we can't get over to there. So let's go to the question mark and then we'll go up along this way. Getting a hail from a research vessel. Ooh, all right, we can duplicate a card in our deck. What do we want? The selective memory and second opinions are really good. Duplicating parry wouldn't be bad either. Especially because we retain it. That could be a big burst of damage. Let's try that. Let's try duplicating the parry have it. All right, so six coming in. So for stun calibrator, we have four again. I even think we need stun cat. Like, we can use that just because, but we don't need it per se. We can 
just do like it doesn't cost anything. And the overpower. And... Oh, that's empty. I thought it had a sim. I didn't even notice that. All right, that's my bad. I didn't even notice that was okay. Okay, so they're each empty. I gotta be more careful about that. We have five energy. So we retain that for a while. All right, let's do this first. Pay one for that. All right, so six coming in. This gets us a bunch. This gets us a bunch. We block the sex, and then we should do some damage. See, that doesn't hit anything. Is the issue. Yeah. We just draw two. Yeah. We should try to get rid of that fear at some point. Yeah, we gotta try to dodge them somehow. So we have four here. So we can do something like... That, and that gets us away from everything. So we don't take any, like... If we don't get hit, we don't get anything. There's six coming in here. We have five. This. Buckshot can do a bunch. This will completely shield us. As with this, this will help out too, and then we can get rid of, like, trash. Or we can get rid of one of the fears, because we're going to get a new one. Okay, let's just get rid of one of the fears. See how they line up? Alright, if we can just move one to the left, we'll be alright. Uh, one card in our draw pile. Do we have an evasive? We have scramble. Yeah, we have an evasive shot. Let's do that. Let's do select a memory. Grab ourselves an evasive shot. And we can get rid of that and that. So six. We have a lunge. We need to get over four if we're going to avoid those. Which I don't think we're going to. I thought I'd close my Facebook. I apologize about that, guys. So we can do six, but it's not enough. We'd still have one coming in. So we could do, like, fear and boost capacitors. We wouldn't take any damage. I think I want to start getting damage in. Let's do a draw shot. Next one stuns. That blocks everything, and then this just does some extra damage. We have them down to eight. Taking six again. There's the endless munitions. Dang. Block what we have, and then I'm going to get rid of a fear. Basically, I'm just waiting to get the six and then two more. We can. I know that's going to miss. That's going to block the three. I'm going to play the ace and a dodge. Now nah, we'll play ace and a trash, try to clear up room. Like, we're not taking any damage, this is just taking a while. So we can play that. We have one movement, which isn't enough for that. And then we can get rid of the trash and the fear.
six. Okay, that was a long, drawn-out one that we were going to get in trouble with, but... We already have a deflection. The scoot is interesting, but I don't think it's worth it. I don't know if I want anything here. Like, this is the most interesting because it gives us four total shields into three. We get the two plus the one temporary and then the temporary. Shield Surge is also interesting, but I think this is just a skip for us. We can remove a card here. I think removing a card would be helpful to make us more consistent. We don't really need the basic shots anymore. With the we don't need the block. We can get rid of that. Yeah. Detecting a mine. Okay. Grab the first thing we find. We lose a hit point and gain an artifact. We're, we're pretty high health. Let's just gain a random artifact. Photon Condenser. All of Dizzy cards. Okay, that's something. So our Dizzy cards, which are our blue one is dead attack, our Deflection, and oh, we had a Block Shot. There it is, yeah. That's it. I mean, they do extra. That's something. It could add up. We'll head here. Ricochet Paddle. When we shoot an incoming missile, we turn it around instead of destroying it. That could be big. All right, so you have something in the middle. The enemy is going, it's putting corrosion on itself, so it deals itself damage, so we kind of just have to wait this one out. This part's weak, and we're about to take five. So, uh, we have both parries in here, until Seems like if we just wait this one out, we should be all right. If we do, like, two temporary shields... Shield capacity. This blocks all five coming in. I can just do this now and do five. Or more than that, six because of that. Yeah. This isn't doing anything. All right, now we're taking seven. So let's see. We have a trash here, but let's draw a card of each color. All right, we have this. So we could, like, shoot this, move over one with the stun, and then get that. So I kind of want to draw that. We have two. We can do a lot of damage with that. I'm going to do that now. Because, like, this does six, but each shot would do an extra one. So now we have a stun calibrator coming up. We move over and lunge. Oh, I see. We used up the stun calibrator with the multi-shot. That's what happened. All right, so now we're taking five, and I need to be careful. Uh, yeah, I messed that up a little bit. So we can do this. And just avoid everything. We're good. I screwed up a little bit, but... This one's weak to stuff again. That's free. So we're taking eight. I don't think we can ace here. I mean, I think, like, boost capacitors in this is our best chance, but we're going to take some. We probably won't, actually. That is a lot of shield generation for us. And it's continuing to ramp up, so it's doing 10 to us. It has 18 left. If you're out of five, a way to get over. We need to draw some cards. We don't have a way to get over. That's unfortunate. So I think it's just generate defense where we can. Because we're still taking six, so it's like this. 
that. These aren't going to hit anything, so we might as well get rid of that. So it's at 13. It's doing 11 to us. Yeah, we can just... Uh, we want to be careful. That has armor. Our first shot... Uh, where is it? Our first shot, I believe, goes through armor and stuff. Forget where it is, but I'm pretty sure we have that one. From each color. That one's cool. The sidestep is nice, and it's a retain, but it's not flippable. And then fleet foot. Basically, this means our movements go one more. The extra movement's kind of nice, especially with the retain. Ooh, perpetual motion. Whenever we have no cards, we draw a card. We usually have cards, though, is the thing. Because especially with all of our retains. Draw a card every time we miss a shot is kind of cool. And then armored bay... Our Missile Bay gains armor. So basically it takes one less damage, which could really improve our survivability. Let's go with that. We'll go immediately into this. There's a weak repeating signal coming from... Place of Honor. A haunting reminder of fragility. Alright. Sorry, it's not fragility. It's fragile. Oh, are we trapped? So this is walled. We are walled in. We can only go so far to the left or right. All right. So they, I don't see anything that's weak, and this isn't a lot of hit points. We don't have, like, the overdrive we would be hoping for to start off. Okay. There we go. There's some stuff. So we do have something here. Still nothing is weak. So we could like move over one and stun that so we only take two. Should be like. Move over one. Two shots. Get a little bit of energy for next turn and then do an extra point of damage. Four coming in. We don't have a great way to dodge that. I guess we don't have to. We can do this. We like we have a ton of energy. Yeah. So this is oh, it's ramping up, so we really have to take care of it. So it's doing ten here. Or sorry, nine. We have four. I don't know if we're going to be able to block all that. Yeah, we, we can't go to either side. Let's grab this. Choose a card in our draw pile. Do we have any overdrive? We don't. So the buckshot's not helpful here. Sidestep can only go one direction. We could grab the stun charge and stun that. That might be the way to go. So if we grab select a memory, grab the stun charge, flip this around and play it. Go stun charge into the shot. We still want to block like one more, which deflection could definitely do. We like move over. I guess we don't even have to move over. We can just do like deflection trash. Be fine. Unfortunately, we don't get endless munitions down. But so this is doing is that twelve. It has ten left. Parry. The second parry might have been overkill. Uh, select a memory, choose two cards in our two cards. Interesting. Fleet foot again, or juke is move three spaces around. It'd probably be selective memory. That's pretty solid. J Daka drum? Every five parry or purple cards we play, 
which I think... Yeah, chip shot counts as a parry card. Uh, we get a chip shot, so we could just get a lot of chip shots. Crosslink, every fifth time we attack, we gain an evade. Wonder if that's per card, or if, like, buckshot counts as three. Uh, every time our discard pile is shoveled, our deck's getting pretty big, so we're probably not doing that too often. Let's take Daka Drum. We can probably remove another card. Or we can upgrade this so it hits all those times. Overpower can also go down to one. I actually kind of like that. I do kind of like that. Having overpower just go down to one. Especially because it'll last multiple turns. Yeah. Hopefully not uh, healing. Will save us. Final waypoint. The Cobalt is embedded in that singularity. Are you ready? Aye, aye. Copyright. All right. Don't look so nervous. Computer, how many times have we been here before? We've never been. All right. We can't fight the Cobalt once inside. All right. Wait, the computer's launching itself? It's gone. All right. Dang. That's, uh, our parries might get some use here. Okay, that's a lot of damage. So this thing's got 45 health and 15 shields. It's empty there, empty there, and weak there. We don't have ones here. We could stun that right there. Like, we, we just use our two here. Completely screwed up immediately. So now we're taking two, which we're already blocking. So we can draw two cards, still have two left. So we can scramble for more evade coming up. Grab shield capacity. This isn't... Although, this actually does something. This does three. Because it's weak. Right? Yeah, that does three, and then we can just fire this off again. Or just Pulse Barrier for extra max shield. It's Pulse Barrier for extra max shield, actually. Having the parry now is huge. We could Selective Memory... Alright, so with Selective Memory here, we could, like, Selective Memory... Ace, just to get it down. Uh, this one gets... Yeah, let's go... I'm thinking ace, lunge, so ace and lunge would put us at one energy left. We can use this to stun that. Actually, we're one off of the lunge. So we could also just grab a basic dodge or a dodge shot. So we, like, glissade over a evasive shot, which would stun this. Use the movement from evasive shot to move here, and then lunge, which would use that. And then we still have an ace, and we have enough shields to get through everything. I actually should check to make sure I have all that. We have ace. We must have already drawn evasive shot. Okay, that's fine. 
Ooh, I've already drawn jar, uh, lunge too. All right, I screwed that up a little bit. I think we want ace no matter what. And then probably just boost capacitor. That's four. That's gonna be fine. I screwed it up a little bit. So we're taking four here. We could also ace and deflection and block everything and stun whatever that is. Could just draw like sidestep to have it in hand for upcoming turns. Yeah. Yeah, because that's not empty. Yeah, and then we block everything coming in. Alright. Lined up directly above this. We don't have anything to draw. We can still stun it as long as we put two attacks into it. This does 12. So I think really it's just like a basic shot. Block shot. We're blocking everything get rid of this, and then we just get energy for next turn. I think that's really just the play. Now we have to remember if we shoot those, they get turned around, but we're not going to. So we're taking four, which we can already block. We can grab endless munitions now. We have a ton of energy. Unfortunately, if we were to, like, turn this around, it would fire at the end of our turn, so the five would still hit us. So only having four coming in isn't a huge deal. So I think Endless Munitions is fine. What is our... One of every color, so I imagine it would be... Like, these. Probably wouldn't be bad to have. Let's play that. That's gonna help. We can get rid of the trash. Have one left, and we'll just do the four. Yeah, our first shot does go through, which is good to know. And then we're gonna draw the parry. Alright, there's the chip shot. Not really a huge reason to not chip shot here. Like, we have plenty of stuff here. We have three left. This gets us a bunch. And then we just do that. Yeah, we just need to keep an eye on that. Can we do 24? There a lunge? There is a lunge. So I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna move over one. I'm seeing if we have any of the uh, overdrive that we don't, but it's fine. That? Not enough. Well, we have four. No, we can do 17, which isn't quite enough. We might as well use one of them, though. The chip shot. Alright, I think this one's over. We have another parry. Yeah, I mean... This does 13. There it is! First run, first success, and that one was pretty clean. We had plenty of shield generation. Movement wasn't great, but after we got the uh, ace down, we were good. All right, what's happening? The cobalt went critical. The hull is lit, that's great.
We have like 30 seconds. Yes, I'm sure you're doing calculations while your hull is melting. Yeah, you know, a glitchy screen with an ominous color palette. I I'd trust him. So we can pick. So we can repair. I feel like Dizzy really did work that route, that uh, run. We'll repair Dizzy. Alright. The time loop. Do we know how to get out? If we leave right now, you will be destroyed. Okay. So we're... He must be the clever one. <laughs> I, I love the little delay on... Wait, that's not an answer. Alright, so the first memory. So there's a bunch of memories we have to unlock. So basically, we focus three particle beams to the crystal sample. This emits a burst of all kinds of subatomic particles and a controllable sphere of space-time distortion around the core, which... Hold on, I'm trying to write this down. I'm glad somebody is. Oh, don't bother. The physics doesn't matter for a drone operator. It matters to me if I'm going to be a participant in a giant... Uh, I mean, he has a point. There's only a tiny chance of that. There's tons of cool science I could do if we're careful, but... The important thing is you don't want to be in the reactor core when it's active. Don't go inside the particle accelerator. I mean, that just sounds like general good advice. Alright, there we are. Here's our post-game screen. This was pretty cool. This was a fun run, focusing more on shields than evasion. I mean, like, we still had plenty of evasion. Uh, the double parries were huge, especially retaining them, like parry B. Uh, yeah, I'm a fan of that. So that wraps up our first run. I want to thank everyone for checking out. I'll be making more coup stumbles through for Cobalt Core. Let me know down in the comments if you enjoyed it, you want to see more of Cobalt Core, or anything else. Hopefully everybody has a great day, and I will see everyone later.